Hey Bubble folks, what's up? This is Damien from BubbleHacks.io and in today's 5 minute tutorial we're going to look at mobile friendly repeating group interactions. So what do I mean with this? If we have a Bubble app built for mobile, if you have repeating groups we usually use the white space here on the left for text and we want to have our interactions somewhere else. Today we're going to look at two options how we can have cool interactions. One is using a group focus and one is using a collapsible group. Today's a bit different in so far that I'm not gonna build everything along with you. I'm just gonna walk you through my setup to keep this as efficient as possible. Let's drive right into the editor. So the first example with the group focus is built with a reusable element. So the issue is if you have a group focus, you can't make it stick to a single repeating group element. This is what we're going to have to make the detour using a reusable element. How this looks like is pretty easy. We have a repeatable element here. I just called it RG dropdown. If you look into it, there's an icon and there is our group focus with the buttons that we want to use. And what's important here is how we actually make these buttons interact with our initial repeating group. So let me show you how this works. If we go back to repeating groups, we see, okay, this is going to search for some dummy data type I called entry. And our RG dropdown, the reusable element, has a data source that's the current cell's entry. So it's inheriting the entry from the cell. And then if we look into the entry, we see here that the type of the content is entry and it's going to get it from the cell. And now in our group focus, we also have the type of content, which is entry, which is inherited from our RG group dropdown. So that's the element itself, it's entry. And then we can actually use it with the two buttons. So if we're going to duplicate, we have a workflow that's very simple. We say create a new entry and actually get the data from the parent group's entry. And the same for deleting it, which is to say delete the parent group's entry. Let me show you how this works in action. So we're just going to duplicate entry one. Good, that works. We have to copy here. Let's also delete it. Nice, works as well. The second one, if we come back to our group dropdowns, it's even easier. What we want to build is basically just a collapsible element that opens up and gives us the option again to duplicate an entry or then to delete it. How this works is pretty easy. We have our repeating group set up here a bit larger. And actually within the repeating group, there is a hidden group with our controls. Again, the repeating group itself searches for entry. And by the way, notice how this is one row and one column. That's always good practice to do a setup like this for mobile because it gives you more space to add repeating groups on top. In the editor, because the page hide, you usually don't want to have it too large. Okay, so here, um, repeating group searches for entries. We have to group with our buttons that is inheriting the current cell's entry. Then we have a button, again, pretty simple duplicate, create a new entry using the parent group's entry and also deleting the entry using the parent group's entry. We have an icon here that you can use whatever icon. I'm using a material icon here. And also notice how the group here is set to collapse its elements height when hidden. So this makes it collapse and also animate when it's being collapsed. And also the element is not visible on page load. The workflow is pretty simple. If we click on our icon, we toggle the group with the controls and this toggle if you're not familiar with the term is basically just hide it if it's visible or show it if it's not visible so we just change the state of its visibility and also notice how here there's a condition for our icon so if the group down here which is called rg controls is visible the icon's going to be different again let's see how this looks like we click here we see our buttons, the icon looks different. We click, it's all back to normal. Cool, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. See you soon.